Today on Rich With Cars, we're going to visit the dealership at Lexus of Orlando as they allowed me to take a look at the brand spanking new Lexus LC500 convertible inspiration series. Now in this quick video, I'm going to go over the few things in the differences between a regular LC500 convertible and the inspiration series and show you guys exactly what the differences are. Mm. So strap in and let's take a look. So difference number one, wheels. Lexus came out with a different design on the wheels, very similar to the actual concept convertible. And you can see that these are still laser cut with a black finish. Quite different to the original OEMs. Moving on to the second difference, we can see that Lexus made a change on the uh, accent points around the headlights. They actually did this on all the Inspiration series, including the, the rear taillights as well. They actually listened to the customers and decided to change, as you can see here, that chrome top part of the taillight, which is now black chrome. Looks much, much better and more menacing on the rear. They did a phenomenal job. I wish that could actually be an option on all LCs, but it's only an inspiration option. Here we can see that we actually didn't change anything on the exhaust housings or anything having to do with the exhaust. And moving along a little bit towards the middle, everything seems to be the same. Of course, we get that third brake light that is a standard on all convertibles. And as we get a view here from the rear of the convertible inspiration series, we get to see that the body's color is, in, is iridium silver, which to be honest is not an inspiration only color. Kind of disappointing. Moving towards the interior, I would say that this would be the highlight of the inspiration series. Now you can see the interior is sort of a mix of black with red. Now compared to the regular LC500 convertible, you guys get to see how the interior is. And you can get it in um, different colors, including tan, black, or uh, red but here on the inspiration back to the inspiration you get to see that you get some red stitching and you also get some red inside the perforation of the leather which is absolutely phenomenal and very outstanding very 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 nice you get to see also the actual stitching on the steering wheel in red so it's nice contrast stitching as opposed to the regular convertible which is in white you also get to see the seat belts that are in red as well. And back to the compared to the regular LC500 convertible. And as you can see over here, it's also an iridium silver. You get to see the interior is very nice still, but a little bit bland, to be honest. We can see here under the rear three quarter look of the Inspiration series that it's got a really, really nice profile. Look at those wheels. It's actually the first time that Lexus did a, what you call a 3D machined rim, and they look phenomenal. Like I said before, they're very similar to the concept convertible that Lexus came out with when they initially unveiled the convertible. Looks really, really nice. To price, we get to see the Inspiration Series convertible extra pricing, which you can see is 13880 now, if we get to the bottom of it now, is it really worth it? It really depends at the end of the day uh, who you ask. Uh, if you're asking me, I wouldn't pay the extra almost $14,000 for the differences in colors and maybe the wheels. At the end of the day, I'm the kind of person that actually likes to modify my own cars and I like to modify them the way that I like it. If I'm gonna be paying that extra amount of money, I'd rather do it with my own taste and not have somebody else do it for me. Uh, in this case, the manufacturer themselves. Now, that's ultimately up to you and it's a difference. Let's not forget also the fact that you're getting one of 100 Inspiration Series vehicles. Now, if you want to have it and think that it's going to be a future collectible, that's also a different story. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it really depends on each person. Personally, for me, I would not be paying that extra amount. I'd rather modify the car the way that I wanted. I would say that the extra money would be on the fact that it's you think it's going to be a, a future collectible. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you guys on to the next one. Once again, thanks a lot for watching. I honestly appreciate and I'm extremely grateful grateful for all your support and uh, feel free to have any comments below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.